Hey guys, it's Brian with PS4 Trophies showing you all the collectibles in Alien Isolation, mission number four. Now the first set of them are going to be where you pick up the scanner here. You're going to turn around and there's a terminal that you need to use to open the door. Uh, while you're here, make sure you get all four archive logs here. Now on your way here, you did pass a lot of doors that were locked. We will go back to those when we backtrack uh, heading out of the level. So for the moment, we're just going to pick up these four here and then carry on. Now a little bit later on you're going to reach this little mini cutscene and you got the android here. Now the androids are going to be hostile to you. So got to be careful. But the uh, t first, uh, next two archive logs, 29 and 30. Now if you're keeping track at home you're probably noticing that two of them were skipped. Those are in the uh, beginning section of the level that we'll have to backtrack to later. But you got that uh, camera there you need to turn off. And there's a terminal inside here that you can use a term off. But however, when you enter it, first go to the right and you have another terminal here where you have two archive logs, 29 and 30. Now you're just going to kind of turn back around and access this uh, computer here and disable the security feed. And then right behind you on the table is going to be the ID tag for T. Kerwin. So now we're, that we disabled the camera, we're going to go into the elevator. And uh, once we exit the elevator, you have that little save point there. And there's a door just to the left and a map here to the right. Uh, go in through the door to the left. And you have to go up this way as part of the story. So we're going to go up here and then you have to interact with another computer terminal. going to be in here. It's going to be to the left. Now if you went to the right, that's going to be the location of the three archive logs. But I'm just going to show you the story path here, just to give you a sense of, of direction. So once you've uh, interacted with that, you can uh, come back here and then you can enter the door that's going to be straight in front of us. And then inside here you're going to have to use your uh, uh, scanner thing, or tuner rather to access this computer and once you do make sure you pick up all three logs that are in here. And of course at any time you can go, go and check your uh, audio logs in that menu. Uh, uh, archive logs rather. Alright so a little bit later you're going to reach this uh, rewire point. This is near the uh, end of the section here where you gotta interact with another terminal and uh, you gotta ac uh, activate the door. And there's going to be a door to the left at the end of this hall. Uh, straight in front of us in that room, that's where you interact with that council up there. So before you go in there, uh, come down here again. You have to use that rewire to uh, make this door available to you. And on the ground is going to be the ID tag. And you'll see here on the map momentarily where we are. Now on the map there you see my white circle. If you look at the green uh, uh, point that we're going to, that's where we're starting uh, this one from. Right at that point we're going to go to archive log number 34. So if you come back here you'll see that save point. There's also a blueprint that's on that table. Back here is a vent you can go into and that'll take you to a sealed room. And then once in this room, there's going to be another computer for you with an archive log that you can interact with. Now as a heads up, you only need 100 archive logs to get the trophy. There are 152 of them, I believe, in the game. So you only need the 100 to get the uh, all the trophies related to archive logs. Now the archive logs, again, can be audio. Uh, files. Uh, you can see them in the computer as well as the recorders that you see laying around. But now we're heading back out. Now this is right where we picked up the first set of archive logs. And you're making your way out to the uh, elevator. And you're going to come here. Now these uh, androids are now hostile to you. They weren't when you were here previously. But all these rooms are now open to you. These were previously locked. You needed key card access to get into them. So go into this room here to the right and then follow it all the way back here and you're going to see a computer terminal with two archive logs. And just to the right of this is going to be an ID tag. So you're going to make sure you get all three of these items here. Two archive logs and a computer and then the ID tag here. Now there's one more room we have to go to is kind of across the hall. 
So uh, get there however you wish. I'm kind of backtracking here and going out this door. And uh, we're going to find our first Nostromo log. And it's going to be in a computer terminal. The computer terminals for the Nostromo logs look a little different. So you're going to access this and you're going to get that. And there's going to be an ID tag in here as well, uh, just uh, about 15 feet away. So we're going to go ahead and head that way. And that'll be the final collectible in Mission 4. So guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I love you all. And uh, like, comment, subscribe as usual. And uh, we'll see you guys in Mission number 5.